I'll let you guys fire away. See what you guys think. What stands out to you about their defensive line? Um, I think, number one, the way that their, their, their scheme, their style of play, they're, they're movement-oriented. They move and try to create disruptions. If, you know, uh, the thing, our most negative aspect this year of our offense has been the amount of negative plays we've given up, and um, that's what they do. And I think they're just really stout, uh, really athletic, you know, um, uh, physical. They play a lot of different fronts. So you have to kind of all be on the same page. So it's, I think it's both coaching and just a really strong physical group. Is there something that you noticed about them on film that you didn't think was you? Yeah, um, you know, I think just watching them offensively, they kind of, they're kind of uh, are very versatile. Like, you know, one game they're in five wides, they're drop back, passing the ball the whole game. Next time they're running the heck out of the ball. So it's like, you know, just watch. I'm going to put that right here. That's good. Um, but I think it's just it's just that aspect of like um, you know they do a little bit of everything so you can't you can't just kind of own in on one thing um, so we have to be prepared for like several different offenses that they kind of can kind of get in and out of uh, offensively. Matt, when you talk about the Toledo's running game, just could you talk about what makes them so effective on the ground? Well, I think they have probably, as I said yesterday, they probably have the best coached offensive line that I've seen. Um, you know, they all kind of work in symmetry. They do some unique things. They use a lot of pull schemes, which a lot of people aren't doing anymore. They're, they're, they're going at a high, high level. And uh, they've got good backs, you know. So I think when you have, you know, great running backs, you have a passing game that you can't really load the box up because either, you know, you can, they can throw it. They've got versatile wide receivers that can get down the field. But they just do some unique things, and they're really well coached. What's this offense right in terms of change you've seen this year? Yeah, I never really know till we play people, to be quite honest. Um, uh, but I think it's, it's up there. It's probably in the top four. You know, I mean, they're different than, you know, um, I think that, you know, there's sort of that Cincinnati model of just drop back passing, great wide outs. Then there's sort of the, um, there's sort of the, the running quarterback, which that's not what they are. They're more like in the East Carolina world of, you know, run pass options. So, I mean, they're, 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 they're good at what they do. How appreciative do you feel your kids are of just being here and all the stuff you guys have been doing leading up to the game? I think they've been tremendously grateful and appreciative. I mean, uh, um, uh, you know, everything's been first class. And really our university, Temple's made it first class as well. Had tremendous fan support since really since the moment we landed. I mean, Temple people are kind of everywhere uh, down here, which has been pretty fun. So um, I think our kids are really appreciative of every opportunity they've had. I hope they're appreciative of the schedule. We've tried to be very fair. Like, we've worked really, really hard, but also given them some time just to go out and be. Like, not just, you know, just just go out and, and enjoy each other. So I think they're appreciative. I know you've been probably asked this, but playing Toledo, a team that was a conference member not that long ago, and kind of... Uh... Funny in that regard. Yeah, you know, we've, uh, I think in my time at Temple, I think we played them twice. I know we went out there and beat them one year when I was with Al, and then they came in and we beat Maryland, and they came in the next week and beat us pretty good under Coach Beckman. So, um, you know, we have a little bit of history with them. I think the biggest uh, storyline in my mind is, is they have they have a lot of kids on their team. We both kind of recruit that same area, you know, Central Pennsylvania, Western PA. So a lot of their kids um, that, that they have on the team we know, and some, I'm sure that they know some of our kids. So there's a lot of relationships between the two teams. Obviously. This has been a special year for you all. Otherwise, you want to be in the bowl game. You know that a lot of a lot of hype going in that Notre Dame game, obviously. But I guess you know, big picture, why was this you know great year for you? Well, I think um, you know we, we accomplished we accomplished a, a lot of things we wanted to get done. We made it to a bowl game. Uh, you know, we're in the top 25 right now. We've won 10 games. The chance to win 11 for the first time in school history. We've had several players get you know individual awards, which is awesome. Seven guys made first team all conference, most in our conference. Uh, we beat Penn State for the first time in you know 74 years. So a lot of big moments but more importantly for me it's a success because I've enjoyed the days I've been with them I got great team got great kids on the team they have a really good young nucleus of kids so I just enjoy I enjoy this team because uh, of who they are and, and the way they do things a lot of comparisons have been made about this team and the 79 team have you talked to any of the former players in 79 team and what are those conversations you, like? uh, you know I talked to a lot of those guys I haven't really talked to, we haven't really ever compared it back and forth I just uh, know that a lot of those guys are really really supportive coach Harden is uh, always in touch with me he, he's obviously a, a, a mentor to me and a really good man but um, I never just actually sat there and directly compared them, but I, you know, I talk to Steve Conjar all the time. I talk to guys from all the different eras, and uh, they're all, I think, taking a lot of pride in us having some success and some national attention. A lot, a lot of the guys on the team haven't had this kind of experience. Why do you think you can't be ready for this moment? Say one more time. A lot of guys on the team haven't had this walk experience. Why do you think everyone's going to be ready for this moment? Because I trust them. Because they've, you know, I mean, if you're ready for the Penn State game, if you're ready for the Notre Dame, if you're ready for all those games, then I'm confident they'll be ready for this. So they're, uh, come on, with me. Hold on one second. Is Rich here? Sorry, I was going to try to fix something there. But um, they, uh, you know, they, they, they strike me. Our team, you know, they're usually ready for things. They usually compete. And they play hard. So, um, you know, we're as healthy as we've been all year, really. So I expect them to play well. I'm expecting a lot of the same uh, 
you know, offense to play, their offensive coordinator to another head coach, or is it going to be anything else? No, I think it'll be the same thing. I think, uh, <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think uh, I think uh, I, you know I think uh, Coach Candle's one of the best in the country. What he does, so I'm sure they'll they'll be very similar to what they were. You obviously started off the season, you know, with the bang going up against Penn State. When you take a look back to that game, just what are some memories that come to mind? Um, you know, my first, you know, college touchdown on you know a very big stage of, and playing a very good opponent. Um, I would definitely say that's one of the memories, you know, not being able, you know, to score as much as I wanted to last year, you know, having a lot of opportunities to, but, you know, that was, that was, you know, one of the memories that I definitely remember. Um, that, that was huge for me. You know, this season, you've had such a special season. You're closing it on 20 total touchdowns. Would you ever imagine, you know, the success that you have this year? Um, no, I didn't know what to expect to come into the year, but I, I knew the way, you know, me and the team worked, you know, in the off season that it was going to be a good year. Um, you know, so it was de it wasn't a shocker because I knew I was capable of doing these things. You know, it was just in a matter of you know how I did it. So, um, you know, it's definitely not nothing new to me. It's not you know surprising you know to the team or anything. But, but it's definitely an honor to be able to go out there, you know, and play with these guys. You know, each and every week, and uh, you know just to have you know the success that we have you know throughout the season. It definitely has been fun. It's been a great journey, and uh, you know it's just time to go out there and get one more. Green, bro. So, what game do you think you? Play? played your best this year? Um, I would say, you know, maybe Penn State or, you know, Cincinnati or, or maybe, you know, UCF. You know, it's a lot of great, you know, games that I, I you know, that I think I've done pretty well. And I, I don't think I even played, you know, you know, my best because, you know, it still was MAs, you know. And, and even though I know it's not every, you know, nothing is perfect in life. And I know every day, you know, out there, you know, it's not going to be perfect. But, you know, um, I think sometimes, you know, I definitely could have played a lot harder and, you know, could have, you know, done some things well, could have pricked up blocks a lot better. So, I mean, you know, you know, I don't think I really play, you know, my best complete game, you know, but I, I, I have another chance to, you know, tomorrow night. So that's what I'm going out there to do. Derrick Henry, who won the Heisman, is more of like a bigger physical back. You know, you're a little bit of a smaller uh, back. How have you dealt with getting so many more carries this year than what you did last year? Um, honestly, man, it, it takes a lot of toughness being able to take them hits, you know, being at the size that I am, and uh, but just, just making sure I'm getting the proper treatments and, you know, multiple times a day and, you know, making sure I'm taking care of my body the way I need to, to be able to go out there, you know, each and every week, you know, with the carries that I was getting early in the season, we go out there and perform at a high level, and, you know, later on in the season, the coaches started, you know, giving me more of a break, you know, uh, you know, splitting the carries with, with some of the young, younger running backs, so I think that that played a lot, you know, coming in, you know, to later the season, and uh, so it, it's, it's it's, um, it's definitely been great, but, you know, the mindset, you know, of me was to be able to go out there and carry the ball that many times a game. So, um, you know, it definitely was tough when I started to get banged up, but I fought through it and, you know, and, and found a way, you know, just to, you know, to continue to fight through it and get back healthy to be able to perform, you know, at a high level for my team. You guys have been in Florida for a few days, but when you heard that announcement, what were some of those emotions when you found out that you were going to Florida playing the ball game? <laughs> um, it, it was great. You know, um, you know, we knew it was going to be some nice weather. We knew we didn't have to really worry about it being, you know, too cold or anything. Um, so, I mean, it definitely was great. You know, the emotions was high to being able to be able to go to a bowl game, you know, not being accepted to one last year. You know, um, and, and just, you know, just to see, you know, how hard these scenes work, you know, day in and day out for them. To be able to have one more chance to play, man, it's definitely great. When Kenny got up in that room last year and gave his speech about not getting to the bowl game and started that leave no doubt mentality, what do you, when you look back at that, what do you remember and how much did that really light a fire under your belly and just keep in the back of your mind that, hey, we got to do this for Kenny and, and go for this business? Um, that, that meant a lot. That was, you know, the mindset of, you know, going into this whole offseason. And, uh, you know, we got it, you know, imprinted on the back of our, you know, workout shirts. And, you know, every time we came in there, you know, we had like a, a yard of uh, turf inside of a little box and we made sure we touched it every time we left and, and came into the weight room. You know, we was that far away from being able to go to a bowl game and, uh, you know, not leaving it in anyone's hands, you know, making sure that we did everything that we can, you know, to win a game. And uh, so that was, you know, in the back of our minds, that was our mindset coming into this year, you know, leaving it out. You and PJ obviously have a special relationship playing together in high school, being from the same area. Yeah. Um, tell me something about PJ Walker that just most people don't know. He, for you, for this question, he answered that you're the best back in the country. <laughs> um, and, and 
you know, same. I would say he's the best, you know, quarterback in the country, you know, hands down. And there's a lot of other great players out there. But, um, you know, I believe, you know, and I feel as strong that he can compete and make any throw that those guys can. And uh, but what a lot of people don't know, PJ is a really, you know, funny guy that people don't, you know, you don't get to see. You get to, see, you know, we get to see the, you know, quarterback PJ. You know, people really don't get to see the, the inside of, you know, of any of our players. But, you know, he's definitely a funny guy, and I just love being around him. When he advocated for you to make that switch um, from playing defense to offense, and finally the coaches came through and really gave you that opportunity, um, how important was that for you? And did you know that you were going to have like this much success? Um, no, um, I, I didn't know. Um, I, I didn't know how it was going to work out. And, and when it when it first was, you know, when the first decision was made, it, it wasn't even like a final decision. It was just like, you know, you're going to try you out here for a couple of days, you know, see how it goes, and, and then move on from there. And you know, so obviously, I made I, I made flashes and, and did things that they liked, and, and seeing that I can help out the offense. And uh, so, you know, that's when we, we just went from there. You know, i just been playing running back ever since. And, but I always knew that I can play, you know, and, and be a, a great Division One back. It's something that I always wanted to do. And uh, so, you know, I, I'm just, you know, I'm proud of, of what I've done this season and, and, you know, what the team has done this season. But, you know, I'm, I'm more excited, though, that we got another chance to go out there and, you know, play another game. Play you have another, another great opponent. You have another year, but these seniors, it's their last game. Just how much is this senior class just meant to you personally? Um, they meant a lot. Just learning a lot from Cal. And, and Tyler. Actually, you know, Ionitis was one of my roommates, you know, my freshman year. Um, and just seeing those, how they, how they led, you know, the team, you know, as they continue to get older, you know, you know, I want to follow in some of those guys' footsteps, you know, just being the leaders that they are, you know, leading the team to a, to another great season next year, hopefully. And, um, you know, just, just seeing, you know, how they develop as players and, and, as, and as men, you know, off the field. We definitely want to impl implement that, you know, coming in the next season, but, you know, but just do it at a much higher level, you know, so, so we can win, you know, even more games next year. So with that, this year, you know, there was game day here. Tyler was getting honored at the two big award ceremonies. Just with that increase of national attention, does that affect anything for you guys like, internally? Um, no, definitely. We, we know we're proud of him for all the things that he's done. And, you know, but, you know, we know that this is his last one that we get to play with him. And, and uh, you know, next year, you know, this is not he's not going to be here. So, you know, someone else got to step up and that role and I know we, we have great players that that, that can um, you know so um, we definitely honor him you know for his, for his accolades and for the great things that he did you know throughout the season and you know we love him and you know one thing you know once you, you know a, a temple out you're always a temple out so um, it's definitely just an honor to be able to play with with a guy you know of that caliber to end the year off with the win that'd that's, be pretty good right yeah that, and that's the mindset you know we have 11 wins under our belt you know going down as one of the best teams in, you know in temple history, you know, if not the best. Um, just in those group of seniors, I would have won. You know, that's that, that's the mindset. That's what we're going to do. 11 wins would surpass that 79 team that has the most wins in program history. You guys are tied with 10. Do you guys talk about that in the locker room at all? Um, no, no, not necessarily. You know, um, the, the, the only time that the 11 wins have been brought up was, you know, really, you know, this week, you know, just to, you know, just to put in our mind that we have an opportunity to be one of the, the best team that, you know, Temple has ever had. And, uh, you know, that's not the motivation coming in the game. The motivation is to go in and win a game, you know, but we know we just got to go out there and do what we got to do and, um, you know, make sure we're not making, you know, any, you know, stupid mistakes or anything like that to be out there and have a chance to win. Last year it was a grind to get the six wins. This year you guys did it pretty easily and pretty quickly. What was the biggest difference with this year's team to last year's team? Um, just knowing that, you know, not leaving any doubt. You know, I mean, none of the games were easy. I mean, you know, we, we, we won, you know, six or you know, seven of our, you know, first games, um, you know, seven of our first 12 games, um, you know, so uh, it was just, you know, just that mindset, you know, of going out there and, and, and wanting to win each and every day. And I think that that had a lot to do with it, you know, and just knowing that, you know, not being able to get accepted to a bowl game last year, that, that, that was pretty tough. And it hurt us. So, I mean, that was the mindset of coming into the year. What do guys at home from where you're from say about you and PJ? Um, you know, that, <laughs> in our words, you know, we're 
putting on for, for our town, you know, putting on for our city. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just great to see, you know, two Elizabeth kids that, you know, grew up together, you know, since we was, you know, uh, you know, not toddlers, but, you know, very young, you know, playing together, playing basketball together. And, um, you know, they just love seeing us, you know, you know, for them to see us, it's kind of like they made it, you know, just to see, you know, a lot of their friends and, you know, and family members, you know, do something that they love to do, that they're so passionate about, you know, it's definitely an excitement for them. When you look at their line uh, for Toledo, watching them, how many defensive lines you see out there? I mean, they're a good group, you know, they they guys that can move, they got guys that can move, you know, they're physical group. Yeah, we just gotta, we gotta, we gotta be able to attack them, uh, be able to handle their stunts and things like that that they're gonna do. They're gonna try to pirate and things like that across uh, our offense along the face. So we just gotta be, be smart and be physical up front. Do you feel like the team has moved on from what happened in Houston? They have, and you know, we we have it in the back of our minds just because we don't wanna, we don't wanna have that. We haven't lost it, that mentality because we, we did lose our last game, man. That's not the way we're going to go out next week, this week coming up. So we got to have that loss in the back of our mind. Let everybody know that. Don't, don't, don't let it happen again. How much would it mean for the senior group that's done so much to send them out with an honor-winning night? You know, just to go out here and play, play for each other and let, leave it all out there for the seniors. You know, this, these group of guys have been been through so much, and, you know, since I've been here with them since my freshman day, when they were sophomores, I've, I've been through the same amount as, as them, except for that first year with them that, that they've been here. But, you know, it's just so much, and I've seen so much work that they've put in since I've been here, and this has been, this has been a pleasure of mine to be around a group of guys that just, you know, that fly around competitive. You know, a lot of group, a lot of good guys that just want to win for it, want to play football. What has this week been like leading up to the game, just being here and, and enjoying it with it's, it's been fun, man. You know, just having this opportunity. You know, you don't you don't really get too many of them. And you know, we looked at. I talked about you know, a few days ago with the team. You don't get this many opportunities in life. You know, at some point, you make if you make it to the next level, you will never get to see these group of guys again. You know, you will never get to have fun with these group of guys again. You know, these guys that we, we spend a lot of time with, we spend a lot of time with each other on this team. And you, you know, at, at different levels and different things like that in your life. Like, you know, you don't see that many people over and over again. So you just gotta go out there and have fun and enjoy it. I'm sure you guys know this. If you win most wins in program yeah. history, do you guys talk about that? Uh, it's, it's been brought up, you know. So we just gotta. But that's not that's not our that's not our mentality going into it. Our mentality is we don't want to have a terrible off season. So that's not that's if you if you lose, that'll make the uh, the off season a lot tougher. You know, it'll make the lot, uh, off season a lot easier. Now you know the guy to your left pretty well. Tell yeah. me something about Jahad Thomas that most people don't know. Uh, most, I think I think he's the best back in the country personally. You know the different things he can do. You know coming from out of the backfield or in the backfield. So just giving him the opportunity with the ball in space. You know I think he can make anybody miss in college football. You told me before the year, Kyle, that you thought this season was going to be a special one. Why'd you feel that going into the year? Um, just really trusting our preparation, uh, trusting our training. I mean, uh, we had a lot of mature guys, a lot of uh, a lot of leaders come back this year. So uh, you know, you knew it was going to be a good year. To start that off with just Penn State and the way you guys played in that game, that just kind of set the tone for the season for you guys. Yeah, I mean, you could say that. I mean, I think uh, I think that was a good win for us, but you know, we, get, we really take things week by week here. You know, we won't really uh, don't really look back, you know, look back at that. I mean, it definitely started us off on a good note, but uh, you know, I think you know, winning the first conference game is good as well. What makes this year so much different from the previous years with you at Temple? Besides, obviously, winning more. Yeah, winning more games. I mean, just just the level of accountability that we have. I mean, it's just um, it's incredible. I think that's why we, we've had so much success. Um, you know, we've always had great coaching, but I mean, now now it's coming from the players. So, just you know, you being a senior and knowing how much you know this program means to you, just to play your final game, just what kind of emotions go through your body leading up to this one? Yeah, try not to be too emotional because that's a distraction. Um, but uh, you know, it means a lot to, uh, to come out here and, and end my career with a bowl game and hopefully a win. You know what? It's been a long, long four years. Um, you know, so I think it'll, it'll mean mean even more to, to win, to, to get out here and win. Tyler didn't really want to talk about this being his final game. I don't, right. I don't think he yeah, wants to know that right. this is going to be it. But do you guys at all talk about it with some of the guys that you've been through that, hey, this is our final?
kind of wonder. You know, honestly, I don't think we've tried to talk about it too much because, you know, like I said, it's a distraction. Um, you know, we'll talk about that when it when it's over. Um, you know, right now, I think you know we have we have a job to do, and you know, like I said, we'll we'll talk about that afterwards. So. What did you learn about yourself uh, when you were injured and not being able to play? I mean. Well, I think you look at things a lot differently from the sideline. Um, you know, going through an injury, uh, especially with myself, I mean, it's never easy. You know, I've never really been injured that much. I mean, I had, did, did some stuff in high school, but, um, you know, it's tough. Uh, I think you have to have the mental toughness and all that stuff while you're hurt as well to, you know, to always go to the treatments, to uh, you know, to continue to help out the team the best you can. I mean, it really makes you it really makes you realize how lucky you are and how blessed you are uh, just to play the game. So, how do you think you played up against Houston? Played okay. Um, you know, I was still kind of feeling out my knee to see if it was good. And, you know, it turned out it was 100%. So I'm ready. To, you know, definitely ready to go this game. So also just taking a look at the offensive performance. A lot of guys are saying they're not over that Houston loss yet. What are you guys trying to prove going up against? Delita. Um, that we are a good offense. Um, you know, we've been a good offense all year. Just kind of get back to the way we've been doing things and get out there, run the ball, throw the ball well, and uh, you know, help this team win. Obviously, with college football, it's always the next guy up and who's going to carry on this success that you guys have built this year. When you look at the offensive line, who are some younger guys that stand out to you? Deion Dawkins. I mean, he's going to be the leader next year on the O line. Uh, he's got a lot of ball under his belt. Um, you know, I think guys like uh, like Brian Carter that's played a lot of games this year. You know, he's going to have to step up into a leadership position and kind of hold guys accountable. And um, you know, as far as two guys that have played, you know, those two guys are going to have to take it over next year. What does Dion say to you guys in the huddle before the game? Because yeah, you know, he's always screaming a, a bunch of stuff out and getting everyone pumped up. That's about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he, he, he does his. Uh, I play for Temple. You know, that's about it. So. And uh, just real quickly before we let you run, Matt Ioannidis is sitting to your left. Tell us something about Matt Ioannidis that most people don't know. Yeah, I mean, Matt's, Matt's one of my best friends here. Um, you know, me and him are... He's just been uh, an excellent competitor to go up against the past four years. I mean, Matt has made me so much better. I mean, just to go up against the best, one of the best defensive tackles in the nation every single day. Um, you know, it's it's just you know it's been great to play with him. You know, I wish him nothing but success, and I know he's going to do great uh, at the next level. Um, you know, just an absolute competitor that just hates losing. And, you know, me and him just, we go at it, go at it all, all the time. I mean, in camp this year, we were at it every single day, um, just making each other better. What is it like to come back and play your final game at Temple in Florida for you? It was very exciting. Very exciting to come down here and finish my career about 15 minutes from home. You've been through, you know, ups and downs yeah. with Temple football. What, what's, what's the biggest difference from Robbie when you were here last uh, up until now at Temple? I mean, I'm a, like, I wouldn't say I'm a different person. I'm just, I've grown up, I've matured. I, I, I experienced losing it all and getting the opportunity to earn it all back. And I just take things, like, step at a time and give my all towards everything. And I don't have step anything. And just more mature person, so it translates to the football field. What does Matt Rule, uh, Matt Rule uh, mean to you? I mean, Coach Rule, like, he's like a, really like a father figure to me. Like, he really changed it. I, I, I tell him all the time, like, I thank him all the time. Like, Coach, he really, like, he changed my life because this time last year I was home and, like, didn't, I, I, ex I, I was hoping and wishing that this would happen, but he really had the faith and went above and beyond to get me back in this position. So I just thank him all the time. He's always had seen something in me. Sometimes I didn't always see, see in myself, you know, so he really changed my life. I'm very appreciative of him. During the season, when did you feel like that, you know, you were back to the Robbie Anderson that we saw the last time you were here? I mean, the first game, the first couple games, it was like, it was like getting back to just, you know, like you out of something for so long. It's natural, but you just got to get back to your regular routine. And I really started started feeling like back like myself, I would say like two lanes because early in the season I was just like, I was trying to live up to expectations and, and not playing my game and like playing relaxed and having fun. I was too busy about worries about outside noise and trying to do what I did before. And you know, you can't force or try and do things. Things happen naturally. Are you guys over the Houston loss? 
Uh, I wouldn't say. I think that uh, I think that Houston loss is going to be like motivation, especially for this game. But I think that'll be motivation for the young guys the whole offseason. I think that would be like the huge emphasis because we were this close to being in a whole nother position. So I don't think we'll ever be over that loss forever. Coming up with this game against Toledo, just because of how you guys played against Houston, what is the offense trying to prove in this game? I mean, we're just trying to prove how explosive we are. We're trying to play our game. You know, we like to pound the rock and then hit explosive plays over the top and loosen up the defense and keep them on the heels, like keep them guessing. Like, we're, we're, we're not a one-dimensional offense. We have multiple weapons, so we just want to play our game and, you know, do our best. With this situation of you now being named the head coach, just what has that been like for you? It's been awesome. It's been exciting. You know, all the emotions that you would, you know, go through when you felt like you've accomplished your lifelong dream, they're all real. Um, you know, but as much as an emotional high as that has been, it's, you know, at the end of the day, there's still a lot of people counting on you, and when you get a chance to you know, have a great opportunity like this, with that comes great responsibilities, and I certainly understand that, and, and I know that there's 19 great seniors in that locker room that are counting on us to be as well prepared as we possibly can, and you know, that's kind of been my focus the last couple of weeks here. Football, family, it's basically synony a synonymous. When you told your family that you were the new head coach of Toledo, what was their reaction? Oh, they were excited. They're ecstatic. They know that this is something I've looked forward to my whole life. And, you know, some of the most influential people in my life growing up were teachers and coaches. And, you know, just it makes you, you know, want to be like them people and impact young men and, you know, help, you know, mold them into what to, you know, be the best that they can be. So we, you know, uh, family officer certainly was excited and happy. And, you know, hopefully we can get a win and make them happy again. How do you carry over the success that this program has built in the past? I think you got to pull what you think is, is the reasons why you got here, you know, and uh, Matt did an unbelievable job of, you know, and carrying on some good things that Coach Beckman put into this program, and, and I'll do the same. You know, uh, I think you kind of learn from what you had, grow from what you didn't feel like you had, and, and try to mix them all together, and I think that's a good recipe for success. Temple's defense is the strength of their team. Your offense is pretty good. What do you guys need to do to win that battle coming up tomorrow night? Well, we got to be we got to be sound. We have to be, you know, uh, we're going to know where, you know, we're going to know where guys are going. We've got to be able to pick, protect the quarterback, pick up blitzes, and then, you know, but the most important thing is we got to take care of the football. We can't turn it over. And, you know, I think you, as you watch any of these bowl games, you start to watch postseason football at any level. Turnovers are, you know, kind of usually tell the story. So um, we we know that they're a great team. We know that they have a great defense. We know they have some great individual players on defense. Um, but I think what I think the most impressive thing is they're a very passionate group that plays for 60 minutes. And we respect that and I know it'll be a stiff challenge for us. One of those individual players that really stands out is Tyler Medikevich, obviously being the Nagurski and Benaric award winner. When you watch him on film, what stands out to you about him? Very intelligent player. Um, very knows where knows where he fits in the scheme knows how to get to the has a nose for the football knows where he's going at all times but yet also has a spatial awareness of what's going on around him um, tremendous football player I don't know him personally but I can only imagine he's probably one of the hardest working guys on the team and he's a tremendous leader you can see the guys rally around him and everything you probably want in your, in your linebacker in your linebacker core